Did you miss me? Oh, you guys are too nice. Hey, welcome back. I hope you had a good August. It was really hot in Texas, but that's what we just call Texas. Uh, welcome to the third series of trying not to go crazy. Uh, just fair warning, there's a lot of talking today, so they won't all be this much jibber-jabber. And uh, I'm going to unpack a few things, give you a little history, maybe some yucks along the way. Uh, but after today, there won't be nearly as much talking, thank the Lord. Whether you realize it or not, there is lots of music in the world. And you probably are able to identify somewhere between 20 and 50, maybe even 100 different types of music. Even if you're not a musician, you recognize music from the radio or music that you hear at church or music that you hear at a football game or whatever. There's lots of music in the world. It's, it's one of those essential unessentials. Every society produces music. We don't really know why. It just spews out of some of us. Anyway, um, and all of these... Uh, different types of music fall into categories uh, that we call genres. From the very broad, you know, sacred and secular or vocal and instrumental, and they fall into genres or subcategories, and they can be divided up and broken down into even further, further, further tiny little differences till you're not really even sure, am I listening to country or is it western? Is this Broadway or opera? Is this choral music or is that a symphony chorus? Hmm. Very finite, very fine definitions between different types of music. All of these are called genres, G-E-N-R-E. Well, if you think of all of the musical world as one giant tree, and there's all branches going all different ways and all kinds of different leaves, and you follow one of those limbs out to a branch, off to an offshoot of a branch, to a sprig, you'll arrive at one lonely little leaf, and that little leaf is called song. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're going, boy, Jim, you paid all that money for a fancy music education, and you're going to tell us what a song is. I think we know what a song is. Well, in the words of Judge Chamberlain Halla, no, I don't believe you do. Sure, song is a catch-all for anything musical. I heard your last song. I love it. Oh, that's my favorite song. I went to the symphony, and they played my favorite song. Sing us one of the songs of Zion. Song can mean just about anything. But in a much more specific way in musicology, song is a specific type of music, a specific genre. In different countries, it's called different things. In Germany, they call it Lied, L-I-E-D. Uh, in French, they call it chanson. In Italy, it's canzona or aria. In Canada, they call it a song, eh? We usually refer to it as an art song. And what an art song is is something different than just a plain old song. So what we're going to talk about today and what this series is about is the musical genre art song or song. So what is a song? What is an art song? I'm glad you asked. Oh wait, there you are. I'm glad you asked. An art song is first and foremost a piece of poetry set to music. Sung by a soloist, accompanied by a keyboard, or some other type of accompanimental instrument harp, or perhaps a lute. But keyboard is pretty much the preferred accompaniment instrument for a song. Now, if you notice, I said it's first and foremost a piece of poetry. Did you have that friend back in high school who said, listen to the words, man? He was right. The words are the most important part of an art song. 
Twinkle, twinkle, little star is a song. Sure, on this shining night is an art song. There's a a heightened level to the poetry, and the words really do mean something far more. There's subtext, and it's, it's not just words, it's poetry. And so the song is uh, an intimate form of poetry set to music. And I, back when I was playing Bach, I had already made up my mind I was going to do a song cycle. Since I'd played the organ and I'd played the piano, I figured I'd better trot out my last trick and sing a little bit for you. So I was all set and ready to go to do this song cycle called Die Schöne Müllerin the beautiful Miller girl, or the the Miller's daughter. I have done this piece before, and I thought, wouldn't it be neat if I played it and sang it at the same time? So my first inclination is to go back and start looking at the poetry, because it's about the words, man. And I started looking at the poetry of Die Schöne Müllerin. And, hmm, hmm. I mean, it's a great piece of music. I love it. But it just didn't spark joy. I felt like it's the story of a man who goes off and he wanders in the woods and he finds a crick and he follows the crick and it leads him to a mill where he meets the beautiful Miller girl and he falls in love with her. But since he's kind of a shy guy, he never really says anything. Uh, She winds up falling in love with a uh, a hunter and... uh, Then, you know, the love goes unrequited. There's two songs about the color green, one why he hates it and one why he loves it. And at the end, presumably, he kills himself in a stream. Just didn't seem like I wanted to sing that. So in addition to the poetry not really speaking to me, I also decided, you know, Jim, uh, three different series all on German composers, probably, maybe I should vary, uh, make some variation. So after the Rheinberger and the Bach, it didn't seem like Schubert was, uh, was a good choice. So, and I thought, songs are best in their native languages. And while I can sing in German and a little bit in French and a very little bit in Italian, I really sing pretty well in English. So I settled on a set of English songs. And this is a cycle by the English composer Rafe Von Williams called Songs of Travel. Von Williams uh, <clears throat> collected nine poems from this set of 44 poems called Songs of Travel and Other Verses by the English poet Robert Louis Stevenson. And these poems, he chose nine of them out of the 44, and they are wonderful. I, I, I don't know what else to say. And they're about not only travel, but transport, delight, um, movement. You know, it's kind of in the ear of the uh, uh, listener as to what exactly the poem means and why it's about travel or whatever. So I'll let you decide. But one thing I wanted to do was to give you a hearing of the poem first. Sometimes music distracts. I know. Can you believe a musician is saying that? Not everything needs to be set to music, and sometimes setting a great poem to music can distract from the poem itself. So the first thing you'll hear every time I do one of these is you'll hear the poem read aloud in no nothing to see except the words, and then I'll go into the song by Vaughn Williams. So the very first one is The Vagabond by Robert Rafe Vaughn Williams. Poetry by Robert Louis Stevenson. Give to me the life I love. Let the lave go by me. Give the jolly heaven above and the byway nigh me. Bed in the bush with stars to see. Bread I dip in the river. There's the life for a man like me. There's the life forever. Let the blow fall soon or late. Let what will be o'er me. Give the face of earth around and the road before me. Wealth I seek not, hope nor love, nor a friend to know me. All I seek, 
the heaven above, and the road below me. Or let autumn fall on me, where afield I linger, silencing the bird on tree, biting the blue finger, white as meal the frosty field, warm the fireside haven. Not to autumn will I yield, not to winter even. Let the blow fall, soon or late, let what will be o'er me. Give the face of earth around and the road before me. Wealth I ask not, hope nor love, nor a friend to know me. All I ask, the heaven above and the road below me. go by me give the jolly heaven above and the byway nigh me bed in the bush with stars to see bread I dip in the river there's the life for a man like me there's the life Blow for soon or late, let what will be o'er me. Give the face of earth around and the road before me. Wealth I seek not hope nor love, nor a friend to know me. All I seek the heaven above and the road be. Field I linger, silencing the bird on tree, biting the blue finger, white as meal the frosty field, warm the fireside haven. Not to autumn will I yield, not to Blow fall soon or late, let what will be o'er me. Give the face of earth around and the road before me. Wealth I ask not, hope nor love, nor a friend to know.